Do you wish you could offer tax services all year long and make revenue all year? In this video, I am going to tell you exactly what you need to do in order to have your tax practice generating revenue all year long for you. Before we jump in, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you stay to the end, I will give you my number one tip on what you can do to start generating revenue today. Let's get after it. When you own a tax business, you may think, that there's only going to be revenue from January through April. Well, I want you to know that there is so much opportunity for you to make money all year, but there's certain things that you need to do in order for that to happen. So I'm going to go over those things to make sure that you understand how to position yourself to make money all year long. There are four things that you're going to want to make sure of. You got to be relevant, you got to schedule quarterly calls. You got to become a trusted advisor and you got to offer tax planning. And I'm going to go over each one of these with you so that you can definitely understand what I'm talking about. When I say be relevant, what I mean by that, that when there is some news breaking about taxes, you are going to be the first person that is going to reach out to your client and you're going to educate your client about what's going on. You have to be that person that your client can depend on versus your client having to Google and look up things. Let me give an example. When we were dealing with COVID some years back, right, there was so much that was going going on. I made myself relevant by holding town hall meetings on Zoom, by calling my clients up and advising my clients on what they needed to be doing while they were in this scenario with COVID. Anytime any law changed, I heard something on the news, I read something, I read it, I reached out to the clients. I read it, I reached out to my clients. That's what I mean about being relevant. If you see yourself as that person that can operate all year long and make money, then you got to make yourself relevant by staying in the know as to what's going on and making sure that you are reaching out to your clients. The second thing that you want to do. And this is important because I always talk about there's money in the conversation, literally dialing for dollars. The second thing that you want to do is you want to schedule quarterly calls with your clients. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. When you are talking to your clients during tax season, you have their attention, you have their ear. That's the perfect time to schedule the next appointment. Think about when you go like to the dental office, right? You get your teeth cleaning. They're scheduling your next teeth cleaning before you go out the door. So you want to take that same position. You want to go from just being transactional to turning your customers into clients. Clients are people you own. These are my clients. This is my book of business. You don't want to be in a position where you're waiting for your clients, not your customers, but your clients to reach out to you. So you want to schedule quarterly calls. Now, does that mean that every client is going to keep their call? No, they may not. But if you have quarterly calls set up, one right after tax season, before June, where you're talking about their tax return, what happened, good, bad, and ugly. Another call set up in Q2, where you're looking at what they're going to do for the summer, what's going on with them, a good touchy-feely phone call. Then you're having your Q3 call, your Q4 call before year end. When you're having those conversations, conversations drive revenue. You're going to be able to find out what's going on with your clients and your clients are going to start leaning on you to do other things for them. And most importantly, you're not going to lose the relationship with your client because you're only seeing them one time a year. So to be able to drive a tax practice all year, you got to schedule those quarterly calls with your clients to keep up with them. The third thing you want to do is you want to become your client's trusted advisor. 
And by that, I mean, they're confidant. They trust you. And clients trust us when we handle their taxes and when we do what we say we're going to do for the client. So you want to be that trusted advisor. If a client comes to you and says, hey, Carla, I need to get my mortgage refinance. You know what Carla's going to do? Carla's going to make sure that she has somebody that can refinance the mortgage for her client. So she's going to make a list of professionals that she's going to refer her clients to because I want to be the quarterback of all relationships. If they need an attorney, if they need a financial planner, if they need a lender, if they need a payroll service, whatever. Whatever it is, you either are going to offer it to the client or you're going to refer it to somebody you trust, somebody that is going to honor that relationship, that you are the quarterback and that that client belongs to you. Notice I use the word client, that that client belongs to you. So part of what you need to do is make sure that you're building relationships with key people based on what your clients are asking you for. That's very important that you're doing that because you want to maintain the relationship. You want your clients to know that if something is needed, they can come to you to get it. Even if it's Carla, what bank would you open up your uh, LLC account in? I know what bank I'm going to advise my clients to go to. Carla, Um, If you were going to buy a new car, would you lease or would you buy? I'm going to have information to be literally the tax Google for my clients so that they're coming to me as a trusted advisor and I'm able to give them great advice so I don't have to worry about them going someplace else. And here's another consideration. You may not do bookkeeping, You may not do financial planning. You may not do any of those things. But what you can do is offer the service to the client and charge on top of it. Establish relationships with people that do it. Let's say, for example, bookkeeping. Maybe that person is going to charge $60 an hour. Well, then you would charge the client $80 an hour so you can get the override of the $20, the difference between the $80 and the 60. Start thinking about how you can offer additional services without doing the additional work. But again, you're that trusted advisor for the client. The fourth thing for you to consider is tax planning. When you're having conversations with your clients, you always are thinking about how is what the client telling me going to impact their taxes. Tax planning is a service that you can offer the client that is a year round service. Tax planning never stops. Tax planning is happening in May. It's happening in July. It's happening in August and September, quiet months. Typically dry months in the tax profession is June through September. Those are what I call dry months, right? Not anymore. Those months are really, really raining dollars because clients are thinking more and more about their money every single day. So when you're able to offer tax planning services to your clients, meaning When you're having those conversations and you're asking your clients, how's it going? Because you're on your quarterly calls, right? And the client is saying to you, oh, you know, my daughter is thinking about going to college. You know, I'm wondering if I can afford that college. How much is it going to cost me? You can run scenarios through tax planning where your clients are telling you, oh, I'm thinking about starting a business. You can run a scenario for your client when you're doing tax planning. All your clients' life events dealing with aging parents, someone passing away, a new baby, college, starting a business, retirement, pulling money out of a 401k. All of life's events can be handled through tax planning. And here's the real killer part. Clients are going to pay you for that planning because you're going to be able to show them how, what they want to do, send their kid to college, pay for it, right? could potentially be written off on their taxes through their business. You can save them money. And anytime you're saving somebody money, 
anytime you're saving somebody money, they are going to stay connected to you. It's very important that you realize that. So let's go over those things. Be relevant, stay in the news. If the tax conversation is in the news, you're listening, you're Googling for it, and you are communicating with your clients. Schedule quarterly calls. Stay in the relationship with your clients. Become their trusted advisor. Offer them planning. That's so important so that they can save money and they can lean on you versus leaning on somebody else. And I also told you, if you stay to the end, that I will give you one of my number one strategies for making money right today. One thing you could do right now, call up your clients, ask them, are they concerned about owing taxes moving forward? And you can offer to do like a tax projection for them, right? And maybe you're not going to charge them a whole lot to do that tax projection. But here's the thing. Once your clients start paying you to do one thing, they'll pay you to do something else. Offer your clients to do a consultation with them, right? They'll start to pay you for a consultation to have conversations with you. And when you're able to bring value in those conversations, clients are then going to up level how much they're willing to pay you. I guarantee you, if you reached out to a client and said, I want to know what's going on with you. Tell me everything that's going on in your world. What's going on with you financially? What's going on with you every otherly? What is happening? What's at the highest order? What's worrying you? If you can get that information from your client and then you can show your client how you can save them money, they are going to stay loyal and they are going to bring all of their friends. That's why it's so important that you own the relationship with your clients so you can generate revenue all year long in your firm. And here's the deal, people. You already know. When you know better, you absolutely have to do better, which is why I want you to like, comment, and subscribe so I can continue to update you on ways for you to run your tax practice efficiently and most important, profitably, and that you can make money all year long.